So in this tutorial, I will show you the basics on the Tingus Construct mod. So to make any of these uh, smell trees and uh, this one right here, we're gonna need some grout, which we can make by putting sand, clay and gravel together to make two grout. And then what we do is we smelt it in an oven and then we get these seed bricks and we can make them into all these different stuff. So to get to the basic smeltery, we'll need this smeltery melter. It's just five seared bricks and a seared fuel gauge and um, yeah that's just five glass and uh, four sheared bricks and then under there we're gonna need uh, some fuel and then um, we get this fuel in this seared fuel tank and uh, refuel it with the lava so um, if you just put some lava in here it should work fine to make this smelter we're gonna need something called a smeltery controller we're gonna make this smeltery controller from this so um, what you're gonna need to make that is a seared casting basin which is just yeah, seven seared bricks like this and a seared faucet which is just three seared bricks and then we're gonna put a seared brick in here and then we'll just fuel this up and then we'll just put some copper in this smelter and um, after it have done melting we can just put it in this faucet so now that it's done mel melting we have some copper and we'll just put pour it in this and um, now it should turn into a smeltery controller yep and now we have a smeltery controller so smeltery is just uh, seared bricks um, and a floor which you can see down here there we go and uh, we don't really need the corners because that's just more materials and it's not necessary and as you can see over here we can also put it in different sizes and the smallest is this one but to make some tools we're gonna need some of these tables right here this is just a crafting station which yeah it's just a um, oak block with a pattern or any of these other stations a crafting table with a pattern but uh, yeah it's not really necessary it's just a normal crafting table but uh, it has some extra features so the one to what we're actually gonna use is this tinker station which you're gonna use from um, some planks and a uh, three patterns and the next one is a part builder so next one is a part builder and uh, it's just two planks and two patterns um, and then there's also there's also a tinker's chest, a part chest, and a cast chest. Okay, these three are not really necessary, but you can make them if you want. Okay, and the final thing, which is very useful, is a tinker's anvil, which you can make by putting three blocks of some different materials. Uh, I'll use rose gold for this one, but you can use whatever you want. And um, some seared co cobblestone or brick, and then a tinker's station. The tinker's anvil is basically just a upgrade from this one, because as you can see here, the tinker's station you can use this to make um, some tools, but not all of them. And and in the Tinker's Anvil, you can make every type of uh, tool, as you can see here. And the part builder is just for building parts, um, and that will be very useful to um, make these casts right here. So now for the smeltery. So for a smelter, so for a smeltery to work, you you will need one of these smelteries, and you also need a few uh, seared fuel tank. And right here, this has some other fuel in it, but you can just use lava if you want. Um, and then you need some building blocks to make uh, the smeltery larger, which is these seared bricks. You can just make them by putting four seared bricks together. You will at least need some of these seared drains, which is just four seared bricks and and two copper ingots and uh, you also need some faucets to uh, make the parts and casts and all that and you also need a seared casting table and one of these basins again seared casting table is just um, seven seared bricks and the basin is basically for blocks so if you want a block of something we can just pour it out like this and um, if you want something more specific like an ingot or something we can put it out here but we don't really have a ingot cast, so how do we make that? So to make any type of cast, we're gonna need some gold. Then we'll need the thing that we wanna make a cast out of. So right here we have an ingot. So now if we uh, pour uh, gold out here, we're gonna get a ingot cast, as you can see here. And we can use this infinity times to make uh, gold ingots and uh, every other type of ingot in this mod pack. So we also want to make some tools from this smell tree. For that, we're gonna need some patterns. And we also take some uh, planks and we go in this part builder and just build some uh, random parts. Yeah, so now we have some uh, bindings and some hits and 
all that stuff so now we're just gonna pour the gold in here and uh, yeah the tool is gonna dip disappear but now we have a broad blade tool cast we may also want to know how to use uh, stuff like a seared duct or a seared shoot so how the seared shoot is it's like basically a hopper for the smeltery as you can see here we pop something in here and for example a gold ingot it gets filled in this smeltery as you can see it's basically a easier way to pop items into your smeltery instead of just putting them in here and this here duct is a filter for your smeltery okay, so as you, as you can see here we got molten cover bucket in here and uh, that basically means that only cover can go through and as you can see here we got some iron and some cover and if we go in here we get the cover and even if we swap this, we get uh, we also get cover. So um, it's a bit, it's a really nice way to. Uh, it's pretty cool, but uh, yeah, in my opinion, you don't really need these here dark ducks. It's really only for my automation and uh, yeah, not to waste um, precious seconds. But I'll just use this for simplicity. So that was it for the video. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I will see you in my next videos. Goodbye.